And in Switzerland, uh, when you want to change laws, uh, it's a long democratic process. It takes a lot of time. But when there is a final decision, it's very solid and it has a lot of support. Well, hello, Philippe, and welcome to our studios. It's always an absolute pleasure to have you here. Start off with, how, how are you? Fine, fine, thank you. Thank wonderful, you. wonderful. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about Switzerland and some new tax rules that you're going to explain completely to us. But they're reforming the corporate taxation at the moment, which seems to be quite an endless process, many kind of steps that's quite difficult for people to understand who are outside of the system. Um, when will investors finally see clarity and stability in Switzerland again? Do not let me put everything into context. Until more or less 2010, we had uh, great clarity mm -hmm. regarding uh, taxation for corporation. We had different tax regime on very attractive taxes, especially for headquarters. Mm -hmm. The EU considered that our system of different tax regime was uh, not uh, appropriate. So because we want to have good relation with our neighbors, we decided to change our system to have a tax reform. And in Switzerland, uh, when you want to change laws, uh, it's a long democratic process. It takes a lot of time. But when there is a final decision, it's very solid and it has a lot of support. And, um, and now we already have more or less uh, eight years or six years since we started. We don't have final decision, but in some cantons, at least in some part of Switzerland, it's very clear how much you will have to pay. And actually, I was myself supporting uh, three large foreign companies mm -hmm. in their uh, choice to choose a place to have their European or worldwide headquarters in Switzerland. Yeah. I spent time with them this month. On first of all, taxation is never the main element. But regarding taxation, they know very precisely what they will have to pay in the future. And I think that we can say in some places we have a great clarity. Yeah, this can be confusing for some people as they would believe Switzerland is more of an independent and neutral country. Is that not true? Yes, of course, uh, Switzerland is an independent and neutral country. Yeah. But at the same time, we cannot ignore mm -hmm. uh, what our neighbors and business partners mm -hmm. uh, uh, think, in this case, the EU. So many of our laws have to be European Union compatible or even OECD compatible in terms of taxation. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's look at this tax proposal 17. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that and what this uh, proposal is and from the federal government? You know, um, <clears throat> regarding this tax proposal 17, which is at the federal level, yeah. uh, first of all, 80% is already decided. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody agreed on the majority. And then uh, what is very important is what needs to be decided overall is rather unimportant. Yeah. So even though it's not decided, don't worry because it's not so important. It deals with potential uh, deduction that Canton may or may not apply. And, the, and then uh, importantly, uh, once there is a new law, there is always a possibility in Switzerland of a referendum, of yeah. popular vote. But in this case, because the dissension is relatively small, the chance of having a referendum, a popular vote, is close to zero. Mm -hmm. So what comes with this uh, tax proposal 17? Okay, um, so this, this um, federal tax reform, tax proposal 17, as I said, is not so important. What is very important is what comes with this tax proposal 17. So let me just uh, give you an overview. Um, in a typical canton, um, to simplify, you have three tax rates today. You have the ordinary tax rates, what normal company pay, let's say uh, 25%, 24% on profit. You have a tax rate called the uh, mixed tax rate, which is like 11% for very international companies having a lot of activities abroad. And you have a third rate called the principal company tax rate, which is between 5 and 8%. And 
that all those three rates will be replaced by one rate per canton, let's say 13. So the decision to, to let's say, to adopt 13 percent is very important, yeah. but this is not part of the federal decision. Mm -hmm. It's a decision to be taken by every canton. And what is also very important is the abolition of the principal company, which is already taken mm -hmm. because it's not part of the law. You mentioned principal companies there. What, what are they exactly? So principal companies, this is a special tax regime for company like a big he headquarters, having a lot of substance on basically the decision, the main decision taken in Switzerland. So this, this is a, called the principal tax regime, and this has been already decided to be abolished. Mm -hmm. So why is the abolition of these principal companies not part of the FP17? Because it is not based on the law, it is based on the circular of the Federal Tax Administration, the Circular 8. So this is why you don't need a gov uh, parliament approval. Mm -hmm. It can be decided and it was already decided by the government. Mm -hmm. Some people might think that a lot of people might be upset with Switzerland because of these uh, secret sort of tax regimes and, and such. Why? Why, why is that? I mean, we have different tax regimes in Switzerland. I mean, to yeah. be complete, we have uh, the normal tax regime plus five other special tax regimes. But I never said secret tax regime. I yeah. said special tax regime. But every uh, tax regime is either based on the law or based on a circular of the Federal Tax Administration. Everything is the internet, in, the, in the internet. Yeah. Uh, nothing is secret. Uh, it's sometimes not easy to understand. But it's not secret at all. It's very open. Mm -hmm. While in other European com uh, countries, uh, I can tell you that uh, it doesn't happen always like this. But this is another topic. Okay, perfect. Now, just to finish up, you said that high level of clarity in many key cantons. Why not in all of the cantons? Because to, to take some cantonal decisions, yeah. Um, you have several steps, I would say four steps. First, you have a pre-discussion, which can last um, a lot of time. Then you have a decision of the parliament, sorry, decision of the government, mm -hmm. and then an approval of the parliament, and then very often a popular vote. So you have four different steps. In some cantons, like the canton of Vaux, the four steps have been taken. So now there is a complete security on the cantonal tax rate, 13.78%. We still don't know whether at the federal level we will need, we can, we will be able to reduce by two or three yeah. percent. But 95% is already completely clear. In other canton, they've only done step one and two, like the pre-discussion plus the government decision. Mm -hmm. And they will have to take the, the um, parliament decision, which may be a challenge. On sometime, another challenge will be the popular vote, if any. Philippe, thank you so much for speaking with us. It's thank always you, an absolute pleasure. And uh, hopefully we can speak soon. Yes. And thank you for watching. Now, if you like this interview and would like to find out more, be sure to head over to ducoscopy.tv.